Hi everybody, hi dear. Yo yo crafter. Just pushing the door to. How is everybody? I hope you're well on this. Um, so yes, still can't tell you the date. But it is the Sunday the 30th of June. So I've got another three weeks of this. Three weeks tomorrow. What a nightmare. I Honestly, I just need to... Oh, seriously, I really do. Right. Um, what we're doing today. We are doing some serviettes by request. It's funny actually because I'm doing them by request but um, I'd already got them because I'd planned on doing them anyway. So it were really strange. Wasn't it Sam? <laughs> um, yeah, Sam asked me to do them. But I'd already, they'd just been delivered as she put the question in to the, you know, for the live feed where we have the questions. She'd just put the question in there and these had just been delivered. It, it were really random. So, what I'm going to talk to you about These are some I know, but I ain't got around to doing these yet. I think these will look fantastic. I'll try and get one done. What writing is that? That's English. What's this? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try and get some of these done because I think these will look absolutely amazing. Tags as well. I think they'll look stunning. Yeah, but what I'm going to say, I've got these as well, but um, I've done some of these, they're in the bin actually, because, oh my goodness me, I've just realised, look whose name's on the bottom, Anita Jerem, Jerem, however you pronounce it, I didn't realise, um, Colorado Craft Company. She is amazing. I think I've got the right company. Um, oh, I can't remember. What I was going to say, oh, I dare say it now. I was going to say don't buy cheap because these were cheaper. But maybe if I do it the way, I feel rotten. I hate saying that's something that's not good. Um, because I did it with glue, you could see every single crease. In fact, oh, I did one on wood, but I thought I'd kept that. I shown it Andy and he liked it, but oh, I don't know where it is. But yeah, I'll show you what I mean, because I'm going to show you a different way of doing it, which I think's better personally, but that's just my preference. But yeah, these were, it showed so bad with the lines. I know there's ways out there, there's ways with water, like um, sticking it onto here, onto one of your plastic folders and putting it with water and pulling it apart so that you get it perfectly clear. I just don't have the time or the patience when I can do it the way that I'm going to show you anyway. So... Well, I'm good that I don't know where that... Oh, I found it. So I will show you. Look at all the, I mean, like Andy says, it doesn't matter if it's all made, but, and that's not dirty hands. I don't know what that is. But look at all the creases. Can you see them all? And in the wood, but it didn't bother me in the wood. So this will become some eventually. But this was also coated. I have loads of these. So this will be finished off with, um, these are for nails actually, but I use them on edge of my cards. So it will be finished off and it'll have a um, ribbon on and what have you. So I'll show it you when it's done. But it, yeah, see it didn't bother me on there. This was just a, a chuck about, so I literally just threw it on. But I didn't like it on the card. There's something I can do with that though, so I'll wait actually. 
got to a bad start. I feel horrible. I shouldn't say things like that. I don't like saying not nice things. Anyway, um, I'll get one of these out while we talk. Because one of them is going to be glue. This one. Yeah, um, just let you know, we have a um, Facebook group, Heidi the Arch Crafty, you can show anything. We have loads and loads and loads of inspiration over there. Um, loads of people to help you out if you're stuck. The only thing we ask is not to sell and not to promote anybody. That's it. And also I've started doing my affiliate link now, so I'm still looking into doing it abroad, but we're on with it now. Right, so I'll do the first one as is with glue, like everybody knows. So this is, I told you I've got rid of all kids craft stuff. Well, I kept this. So because they use my stuff now, I kept that. Right, let's get rid of it. I took it out at school. It never, it didn't get um, thrown away or out. So I did this one with glue just to show you that I can do them with glue. Well, not that I can, that you can. I just think there's an easier way, that's all. Which I will show you. So I'm just spreading it out. Make sure you get all the edges. This is going to be cut down slightly. This is a five and a half by four and a quarter. So it'll be cut down with my master layout one. I should have done first bit first, shouldn't I? First bit first. You don't do second bit first. Yeah. So I'm getting my serviette. I'm just going to push that back out that way. And I'm just going to cut one piece. Well, I'll cut two because I'm going to cut straight down the middle. Rosie attacked these yesterday. We didn't realise what she was doing. And she was on floor chewing my serviette. She got them out of packet and everything. Don't know why I'm trying to be so neat. Because you don't have to be. Right. We also need... A little bit of glue on here because we're going to fussy cut as well. So bring that forward again. So what we want to do. It's got three layers to it. So we're going to peel them off because you want literally that one layer. The more layers you take off, the more delicate it becomes. People save these and use them for the bits I don't. So you need to get this. Oh, it's done it straight away, but I'll show you on one of the others what to do if it doesn't. And what we're going to do now then I definitely want the bird on it so I'm going to go as near to the top as I can now this is why I don't like using the glue. I've got creases in this now. I mean, it doesn't matter on the finished one, but I have got creases in it. And I don't, it's not my thing. So you've got to be really careful now because you've just wet it. So out of this one, I want that bird. Oh, 
and again we want it to be oh I did it in one go oh, okay I'll take that we want it it just make the colours stand out more it's very strange So it's all flat then I'm going to take a little bit more glue now I did speed it up with drying with the heat tool which I think I'm going to do again the other ones are really quick cards really quick so this seems a lot of hard work, doesn't it, to um, get it all nice when you, I know you can do it even quicker and it looks just as good, if not better. So I will see, I'll show you. I do think this idea is great for any of them, but we're only doing it on this one. But if you've got birds that you want to stick on, with a different serviette, there's no reason why you can't do that. Right. So that's done all the way. Might dry a bit quicker actually because I haven't put as much on as I did. On my dummy run. Put that in water. Right, I'm just going to give them a quick heat. What's everybody up to? Oh, I have to show you. Andy's just been shopping and he's just come up. He's brought me some doggy treats up here because I keep some up here and I've run out. And he's just come up and look what he bought me. Oh, honestly. When I say um, that... Um, Turkish Delight is my favourite chocolate. I don't know, you know. I think it is actually the Ritter Sport Marzipan. Absolutely beautiful. He's dead good, isn't he? So, I'm just giving it a bit of heat. I wouldn't normally, actually. I'd just leave it. But we don't want to be here 10 hours, do we? Still sticky. One's done. Right, I'll just leave it a minute and then if I have to heat it up again, I will. Now I've glued it to paper. Why didn't you tell me? I left a gap last time. There. I say I'm not worried about edges, I'd rather it didn't rip in because I'm going to cut it down. Don't do as I do. Oh. It's come off alright, it's absolutely fine. Just feel a little bit damp. See, this is another thing. If you're doing it with the glue, it's waiting about again. I would definitely do this bit with the glue. You see how this turns out? It's absolutely fantastic. But obviously, this seems well. It doesn't seem it has got a lot more glue underneath it. I 
I think there's a possibility, you know, we may start going live a lot more instead of every other week. Because with all the new people that are coming, all the newbies into group, um, actually I'll explain it again. I know not everybody, get, especially the newbies, don't get it. So when we do a live, on every single live we do, there'll be a draw called the buy me a coffee draw. And what it means, you don't have to buy coffee, what it means is it's money left over from when people have bought me coffees. And, oh, put some heat under that. Oh, it's sweating, look. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when people, it's the money left over after I've, after I've done all the postage. There's the, so I buy, sorry now, I buy, um, little, whether it be a stencil, a little stamp, anything. So anybody who asks a question, look at that. In the feed for the um, live, so if, if you ask, if you want to know a question and you ask for it in that feed, you will get put into the drawer of the buy me a coffee drawer and that question will be answered on the live I even forgot where I was going with it but that's the the amount of questions we're getting um, it's it's either we stay for hours and hours and hours but then people who are in group um, they'll see it that it's oh look we'll go and watch that it's alive oh no it's four hours long we won't bother so Andy says to carry on but I mean I'm more than happy to stay as long as everybody wants to I think it's funny that nobody wants to go I am just quitting this out by the way <laughs> um, so yeah I think we'll end up doing one a week you should all let me know what you if you're happy with that I mean I, there is a chance I could probably do two a week and have my daughter here one of them instead of Andy he can only do a Sunday so yeah let me know what you think of that as well right it, it's quite hard now so you don't have to be um careful with it My affiliate links and all, um, I will only ever, ever give you an affiliate link if I think it's a good deal. Like, I will check when I come off. I don't know how much they are at the moment. But these scissors that I'm using, I got these off Amazon. Oh, a while ago, though. Um, so I'll see what they're at. But I'll also see what they're at, you know, somewhere else. So I'll never just do it for one place if I buy something and I don't like it then I won't, I won't even let you know also when people ask me what my opinion is of, of this that or the other if I don't have it and it's not mega expensive I will buy it just to review it for you I did it with all the pens and stuff I sold them all back on after once I'd bought them if I, if I didn't need them. Um, but yeah, I'm more than happy to do whatever I can to help any of you out. It's like I got a, um, a message today. Well, it, it was actually on YouTube feed. Um, not feed, you know, the actual YouTube where you can write your messages now down below. It was on there. And it was somebody saying that they were like me and they bought everything that these famous crafters use but never used it because they didn't really know how to use it you use it once like you've seen them use it and then you don't use it again but I've said all along that were me so I suppose what I've learnt to do is I've learnt to shop better and I've also learnt if I can't use something four or five times for a different project then I won't buy it so there we go there's your little bird this one's dry now so I'm going to cut that one out so 
so I'll just cut this down and we're using the master layout one today so I want my bird as far that way as possible you see it's got the creases on and I'm really really not a fan of it but I do sort of cover it up in this card which makes it just slightly better I suppose otherwise I wouldn't do it I don't no right two seconds Probably I got more done, but it really is a struggle with my arm in cast. Right, that's the card. I'm going to put this one on the base already. So I've done, um, I thought I'd done a blue base. Nope. Ever. I've got everything that I've done out in front of me. Ready. Apart from that. I did cut some more, so I knew I'd have some ready. I cut some extras, I always do. So we'll get that on the base. It's quite quick once you've got it all sorted. I'm using this one because I'm using them. Well, I try to use them all up. I prepped some card bases. Belting. That was somebody else's idea for me and I love it. So that'll also go into the link because I got it off Amazon. I think it was only about 3 99 Beats any bone folder anyway, that's for sure. So at the moment, this doesn't look amazing to me. It will in a minute. These are where they're finished. So what I'm going to do, I'm using Versamark, which is my sticky ink. Where's it gone? There it is. And I'm going to get the sticky ink all over it. I meant to put some Winker Stella on it first, but it doesn't matter. Look at the bird. <laughs> now taking some clear embossing powder. Today I'm using Gina K. And I'm just going to heat that up. I should put it down there. Now. It's going to get hot. Wait a minute. Let me just put that away. Mm. 
I'm just going to heat it up make it all glossy and then without burning yourself pick it up while it's still warm and bend the wings and it'll stay like that Okay. Then we're just going to take as glue Why has it got dog hair on it? I tell you that dog of ours gets everywhere Rose there. Now, I want the bird. I'm going to have it there. We will put a bit of Winker Stella on the other one. But also, quickie glue pen. I'm just going to put... I see, I didn't know if this would work. I'm just going to put some random dots now. Just to bring a bit of sparkling, because I don't want to put any gems on it. Sentiment wise, don't know yet. I've put one on the other one that I did, but I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it blank until I need a card. Right. Winter Stella. I don't actually know if it'll go. It won't stay on the embossing. It'll come off, I would imagine. Well, a bit of it stayed on, so I am going to put it on. It don't have to bring the colours out. I mean, if I wanted to, I could have cut these wings out separate on another one and just done the same and made their stand out. They look nice. Right, I'm just going to grab a piece of foil. This is Gina Kerr foil. See if it's ready. Yep. Yeah. See, I didn't add to it, even eat it up on this one. Oh, it didn't even work that. Oh, that's lovely. Where else did I put it? Yeah, that one weren't ready, so... Because I've literally just put the glue on it, haven't I? Right. If you want, you could take a little pad and put it behind to push it down so it stays down a little bit, but I don't see the need. 
so I did put them um, just breathe on and I use the same backing card as that one that one you can see the sparkle yeah that one's way up up to that one but there you go that's number one that's serviette that one's got on a lot smoother actually yeah not a fan of the glue but you see the big crease straight down the middle i mean people won't notice it but i can see it there you can see it there but it's okay so we'll go on to the next one and this is super duper quick This is the serviette we're using. These are the bases we're using. And these are the two pieces of card we're using. So I'm showing you a different way. We're not using glue. We'll get the serviette that we need. Oh, it's already now. I absolutely love how this came out. So we're going to get to the, take the two pieces off. I'll show you what to do if you can't do it. Well, either wet your thumb and your forefinger carefully and it's not going to work. that one that I'll show you with this one let's watch it not work now get two pieces of extremely low tack tape put one piece on the front one piece on the back and it should mine might be too low tack there you go so it should pull it away how easy that was hey and it comes off so you can use it again clever that way isn't it who would have thought there you go no need to spend hours trying to do it right i've had these forever so i'd have to have a look where i get them from but any kind of Sticky will do it even if you put double sided sticky tape down. You know, um, what have I got? Stuff like this will work. This is the old to new one. Oh, and I've got that one as well. I think that's called sticky, is it? It's stuck. <laughs> yeah, stick it. Double sided, but I'm doing it with. Just put them in there. I'm doing it with sticky specs. All I ever used them for was um, putting them on back of little labels and then sticking them on something. So I've had them forever. So what I'm going to do is under there, it's not tacky at the edge. So I'm going to cut what I need. And I'm also going to stick enough on there to do a little tag. Something tells me I've just cut that too short, but we'll see, won't we? Right. Taking the release paper off and I'm putting my card over it. Again, it's going to be stuck, um, cut down slightly. 
and just give it a right good rub to pick up all the dots because that's all it is it's just tiny tiny little glue dots there's probably different makes out there but like I say I've just had these forever it's, it's good to get them used actually otherwise I don't know what I'd have done with them it even ripped my card a little bit earlier but it didn't matter Now I'm going to take my serviette, I'm just get, I've got a bit of glue on my fingers, that would have ripped it. And I want, I want that top one in it. No, I want that one in it. No choice, it's stuck on its own. And look, there is absolutely, I've got glue on my hands, not one crease. Not one. And how quick with that. So I'll get my die for that. So I'm using the All and Create. And I'm doing the small one here. So I've already cut my backer out. Backer. Yeah, it's going to be enough as that. So, same thing. Peel the backing off. Get off my fingers. Get off. Thank you. Just make sure it picks it all up. Perfect. Get the serviette. Make sure you don't have any of the dots left on your hands. Lot them stuck. So I want that flower. And go. Absolutely no creases. Should save it really, you could get something else out of that. Pick loads out of them. So I'm just going to cut that out and I'm just going to cut that down to. Let's get this in the right place first. I think we're going to go. I think we'll have that one there. Do we? Let's go there. So, two seconds, I will just run these through. I'm using my spellbinders for this part. So that's that one. I'll just put the tag through. Oh, and he's making tea. I can smell it. Chicken tikka on a Sunday. Today it will be followed by jam roly poly. And then we've decided we're going to knock the puddings on the head. Oh, that's going to be awful. Torture. Just torture. Right, so this one's almost done. I'm going to stick that on the base. That's how quick this card is. 
I mean, you've got serviettes. I mean, you could even, you know, your kiddies ones make fantastic um, birthday cards. Make fantastic Christmas cards, really, wouldn't it? I can't wait to use this one. I think it'll be amazing. But he says I work to be long. I used to do this on all of them all the time, but you see me every now and then I'm doing it like that, or I do it with side at scissors, but I don't need to do it. Right. For a card base, I'm going cream. Also, I'm just going to cut this down to go inside because it's quite a flimsy card. This is the Lompon Speckled and it's quite flimsy. So I'm just going to cut this down to fit inside. One second. So we'll put that in first and then that's out that way. I'll tell you what I was going to do. I was going to get my dandelion stamp and just stamp a dandelion in here because I'm starting to put stuff inside. See, it's still the same colour, but it's made it a bit more... It's not flimsy. Nope. Oh, yeah. thought we were doing it wrong then. I was also going to put foam behind these, but I ended up not. I want to get all three cards done. I love the other one. It's 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 cool. But I think I don't know which is my favourite now. Look, it's like material. It's pretty cool. I'll we'll stick this one on there. I love these tags with um, alt bits, you know, chipped out at the sides. Right. So, on my practice one, I took the quickie glue pen. It seemed to sink in. I didn't know if it was working. So, I put a few dots on. In fact, I put a load on. Some it worked on, some it didn't. But I liked what it did. So I'm hoping it's going to do the same thing. I should have thought, actually, I could have put a bit of gold, you know, on my mat and lair. You know, the... Um, What's it called? Gilding wax. That'd look really nice, that. I don't even know if it's coming out. I can't, I can see it when I'm on paper. So for this one, I don't even know if I've, where I've done, you know what I mean? I think I did, oh, I don't know. The more the merrier, eh? Right. Do -do 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 -do. I better have ink coming out. <laughs> Not ink either, is it? That'll be glue then. Did I just do that? This getting old's rubbish. Can't ever remember what I've done. So I am literally not putting it anywhere in particular. I am wanting it. I'm going to put a little scribble there, see if it does what I want it to do. I 
Right. So this time we're using gold. Well, we're not because, oh, it's here. This is the gold that came with the fuse. You got a gold and a silver in a square. So I'll see if it's ready. Let's have a look. Yeah, you see, you see where it's kind of caught? That's what I want. How cool does that look? I was dead surprised when it came out like that. So it's doing the dots and it's catching it in other places as well. I probably haven't left this to dry long enough to do the dots. That's doing all right. Hey, look. Look at that there. There's nothing there. Oh, yeah, that did it. Oh, it's all drained now, that's right. And he's whistling me, I won't be a minute. Oh, my tea's ready. Oh, we'll have to wait. Got another card to do yet. So that was the idea behind that one. I wanted them bits of gold. That's what I mean, the gilding gold. There's a look round, uh, nice round there. So we'll do the same with this one. I'm dead impressed with it, honestly. Didn't take much. Right. I'm gonna put a hole in it. When I'm telling you about shopping smarter, 48 pound 50. I tell you now, I got it from Lavinia. I can get it you online for 24 quid at Amazon. Give me a shout and I'll get you an affiliate link for it. So angry with myself at some of the prices I've paid. But we learn. So I'm going to... You put that into the where you set your edge and it won't go in any further. But I'm not very... I can't do it with my arm like this. I'm trying to get central. not very essential but that's my doing guess what's just come i'm just a delivery man my waterproof sleeve how exciting there we go and i'll lock it again i don't use this enough i really don't there we go Try and put it away properly, I do. And that'll go away. Tidying up as I'm going along. And I've got a few threads here. Thought I had more than that, but that'll do. Word-wise, again, I'll do it later, but I'll show you the ones that I've already put on. So these are the ones I did. Again, I put the same green behind the saying. Exactly the same. I just love them. But I've got these. These came in one of my all and create. And look at that. Vintage. I think that's pretty cool. Or oh, dream. I even like this one. Journey. So I ain't decided yet, so I'll let you know when I decide on that. So that's them ones done. I hope you like them, I think they're amazing. So the last one. Oh, just put that glue away. Last one we're going square. It 
Again, we're doing exactly the same way. They'll all be saved. Do it there because I want to make sure it's sticky all the way around. Because if you don't have it all the way around, it's going to start coming up unless you glue over the top of it. And I don't want to glue over the top of it. I've quite enjoyed not doing that. And it's so much quicker. The stronger these are now. This will be cut down a tad again as well. I purposely cut it a little bit bigger. You can keep them bits that I've just used because there'll still be bits on it, like there's bits missing, so it'll still have the dots on it. So we're going for the mushroom. And put it again. And because we don't have time to mess, I'm going to do this straight away. He just whistled up the stairs like a dog. Oh, a dog's owner. So it's took enough the back one. So I'll put it back on, see if I can get that one off. So it's got one on there and one on there. Hopefully. Come on, don't let me down. There you go. What a great way. Love it. Be careful, don't rip. There we go. So we're going to stick that on top. I want my mushroom on. Now, as it happens, it doesn't matter if this one gets creased. But it doesn't. It's so good. I've got a tiny crease there, but nothing like when you glue it doesn't matter so that's that one second we are bringing in the Gina K into cup we're using the spellbinders um, embossing folder of the month for September 23 it's called mushroom harvest and what we're going to do is emboss it. It's very rare I do embossing. I'm not a fan of embossing. But we're going to put this through here. The best thing about this machine is, I can't show you. It's got settings on the side and mine's set for 3D embossing. So it, the work's done for you. There's no guessing. I do struggle because I've got to use... Oh, dear Lord. I'm going to have to turn it to me and then I can use the... That's better. It's not awkward in the machine. It's my hand that's awkward. If I hadn't brought my wrist, I'd have been able to do it. Just look how cool this is. Look at all the mushrooms with the mushroom. <laughs> Easily pleased. Right, I'm just going to cut it down. One second.
How cool does that look? It's amazing. I've already cut a, a back in. I wanted the green to bring out this. You could possibly be better with wet glue here, but it worked fine for me. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's the end. Of course it is. I don't think I ever do a video where they don't run out. I've got window open, it's nice. There's no kids out. There's no rain, there's no bumblebees. I've already cut my card base. This card ends up being five and a half by five and a half. That would have been nice if you'd have padded it up and all. Doesn't it look good through an embossing folder? I've got about four embossing, embossing folders. That's it. I'm not an embossing folder fan. But I wouldn't ever part with this one. I've used it quite a lot. You can't fault that, can you? I think that's absolutely fantastic. So that could become a very nice thank you card. But... Hello... Oh, dream. I put a low on the last one. I'm going to do the same. So, if you guys also want to help me, you can help me by watching the ads. Let them play through. Go and make yourself a brew or go to the toilet. Even at the end, let it play. Or share my videos. That would be much appreciated. Get your friends told. Get them told. Right, guys. What do you think? Three cards using serviettes in less than an hour. That's good for me. So this is the one I did earlier. Oh, I've got it in more or less identical place, haven't I? Because that's that one. Then we've got this set. Oh, I just love it. It's my favourite, definitely. And then we've got the hummingbirds. Aren't they just gorgeous? I'll probably put something similar to that. There we go. I hope you like them. I really, really do. I'm, I'm so happy with them. It's nice when you like your own work, isn't it? It doesn't happen often. It's really strange because I'll put a video up, like I put the All and Create up today. And I thought, this will go brilliant. And it didn't. I mean, it has. It's getting watched and everything. But I just thought it would fly. But it's good that we're all different, isn't it? Right, guys, I'm going to go because my tea's ready. And I'm going to come back up later. I'll tidy up later. I hate doing that, leaving room. But it's got to be done. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to click off before it reaches an hour. Happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.